Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Today on the channel I'm going to be reviewing the newest knuckle roller from Zero Gravity Return Tops. This here is the Rostretto. Let's talk about the Rostretto. So this knuckle roller is the follow-up to this one here. This is the Espresso Tamper. This is the Rostretto Tamper. I forgot to mention that's part of the, the name of it. It's the Rostretto Tamper. Uh, so kind of continuing along with the coffee theme there. I've really enjoyed the Espresso Tamper. I've had uh, a lot of carry time with this one and uh, it's patinaed really nicely here with the, uh, the white oak there. And uh, that's kind of why I chose this uh, wood type because I really liked that. Now, whenever I was given the option for the Ristretto, this was a new option here, this maple here. But take a look at these colors. I don't know how much the camera is going to do this justice, but this is one of the options here uh, on the Ristretto Tamper. Uh, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? It's a nice and light wood, of course, maple being kind of lighter. Uh, and uh, that's obviously gonna put even more weight to the ends there. The ends here are stainless steel. All of the options are stainless steel, but you'll see that there are kind of a, just like there was with the espresso tamper, there are different uh, anodizations. Uh, I think there's black, and then there's like plain, like just like raw finish. And then there is also the rainbow kind of finish as well. What's the difference here? Why do they put out a new one? Uh, well, let's talk about the like obvious difference first off. It is much shorter. So if you know what a ristretto shot is, a ristretto espresso shot, it's a shorter espresso shot, okay? And except it's, well, it's the same amount of coffee, uh, but it is less, like pretty much half the water. And usually it's also a little bit sweeter. I don't know if this tamper is necessarily trying to improve on the espresso tamper, but I tend to like it a little bit better. I think it plays, maybe just the short size of it, the shorter size of it, just fits my hands particularly well. I like that feel of that. It's not like super, super short, but it's shorter. And it is actually heavier as well. It's about almost uh, about nine grams heavier than this one weighed in. Now, of course, that's gonna vary a little bit based on the wood type you have, but nothing too crazy. A, a bit heavier, so for, you know, like those kind of rollovers and stuff like that, that's gonna aid really well. I talked about that, I believe, with the espresso tamper how it kind of rolled over really well for thumb rolls and things like that because it has so much weight just to the ends there. Light wood, but heavy ends. Another difference here would be, I think, on the ends there in general. The Espresso Tamper has a little bit more of a divot there. That's probably where the weight uh, is a little bit more because this one doesn't push in as much. So I'm sure that's why there's a little bit more weight there compared to the Espresso Tamper. Now with the Espresso Tamper, you could balance it really easily there, right? Uh, maybe not so much with the Ristretto. As I said, the ends are stainless steel. It comes in a couple different colors. You can kind of mix and match there. For instance, this wood here could have these ends or it can have the black or it can have the rainbow or it can have the standard just kind of raw finish. And then the wood also has four different varieties. You have the maple here, which I think again is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is gonna be a huge seller. And then I believe there's a, and then yeah, and then there's three others as well, which I think are white oak and then walnut, I think and then Beechwood maybe? I'm not sure what the other fourth one is, but you'll see a picture here, uh, what they look like. I think it's the same as it was on this. This is just the additional one for the Ostretto. All right, let's go ahead and roll this a little bit and show you kind of what it's capable of.
I think this was a big improvement, in my opinion. I don't think it was necessarily zero gravity return tops attempt to make an improvement on the espresso tamper, but I do think this one's more playable overall. I think it just kind of hits that mark. I, the weight's really nice on it, the little extra weight, but I think really the length of it makes a big difference. Shaving off a little bit of length there just feels like it tucks in the fingers a little bit more than the espresso tamper. I'm still gonna reach for the espresso tamper. I think it's a gorgeous knuckle roller, but this one I think just kind of takes the cake a little bit more. All right, that's gonna do it for my review of the Ristretto Tamper from Zero Gravity Return Tops. I really dig this one. Again, they'll be releasing here real soon. You'll see a little bit more information on Zero Gravity Return Tops Instagram, so check that out. I'll have a link in the description with that and where you can buy this in the future. It is not quite released yet, so this might be your first detailed look of it. All right. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that other stuff you're supposed to do. I'll see you in the next one. Later.